Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. This update is mostly about the Jones and Shipman 540 surface grinder, which has been languishing in the corner of the shed for at least two years, uh, more like four, I guess, uh, and is now, I'm pleased to say, fully operational. So I've managed to get the uh, Transwave hooked up to a fused spur and it drives both of the motors three phase quite well. One of the motors is down there, which drives the hydraulic motor hydraulic pump that's off this contactor and this contactor is for the wheel head the motor for that I think is further down and there's some kind of belt or chain drive in the back of the uh, machine so um, the suds pump I borrowed on a long-term sort of loan from my mate Matt you know Matt with that Matt in the hat from Matt's shed uh, the only thing that I still have to bottom out is whenever I turn on the vacuum cleaner which is also run off the inverter all of the um, MCB trips or the fuse goes so there's probably quite a high peak load off that I need to do a bit more research and find out what I need to do but the machine itself does run because I have heard it running on one occasion so I'm, I'm quite um, confident that we'll get that all operational the um, hydraulic itself works a treat so when I crack this open you can see that the table mechanism works it's all been bled up no problem and there, there it is merrily going left and right between the two stops so that's going to be uh, quite exciting to use that and if I crack open this one as well you can see at the end of each pass it also indexes the table coming outwards or inwards so I've, I've got to do a bit of practice one of the first jobs I'm going to do is to clean all the crud out of the bed so clean all this crud out of the bed, give it a proper uh, clean up. I'm going to fit the magnetic um, base plate that I've got next door. And then probably uh, after I've dressed the wheel with the diamond, grind the magnetic uh, chuck completely flat so that uh, I can use it as a suitable machine. But I'm, I'm quite pleased about that. Other little jobs on this machine, well the hose on the back that connects the return from the suds feed into the suds tank. I need to get a hose that will go onto the end of there. So I've tested the suds uh, coolant, the flood coolant, but I've not run it for any length of time because it's just gonna make a horrible mess on the floor. And I don't want the um, three phase inverter or my power supply for the bridge pour to get covered in uh, suds oil because that probably wouldn't do them an awful lot of good uh, shout out to Midland Oils Midland Oils in Leicester they um, open specially for me to supply me with this 25 litre tub of uh, Tacos 32 which is the hydraulic fluid that needs to go into the machine this cover comes off and you fill it there's a big hydraulic tank in there where the motor is that you can hear running um, and, and that machine now, hopefully, is, uh, is uh, usable and uh, will give us uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of good service. So things that you would use a machine like this, for example, um, if you've got a motorbike with shims, bucket and shims for the valves, instead of buying new shims, you could just regrind the shims that you've got. Um, that's quite a small job. You could probably fit a cylinder head or a cylinder block on there and regrind that flat if you needed to or raise the compression slightly. I won't be doing that. And of course, not forgetting that you can only do that to uh, uh, ferrous metals. You can't grind aluminium. There are a load of grinding wheels that came with this. They're all next door in, in the other shed. Um, so some of those will have to migrate to here. Perhaps some storage behind it for the, for the grinding wheels. But I'm, I'm very pleased with that in terms of progress and um, it's another little thing to add to your tool kit, to your toolbox, so that when you're making something, you've got an extra machine that you can uh, press into service. So that's the updates today, very pleased with that. As usual, thanks for watching, more updates will follow.